Well, if this picture doesn't speak doom and gloom behind us, I don't know what does. Well, the only thing missing is about another 10 degrees off of our temperatures, and that is going to be coming later uh, next week, which we'll talk about here in just a second. But for now, let's go to the graphics and show you what we've got going on. First, a little bit of climatology here. Some weather history throughout Halloween's past. The warmest in 1935, we almost hit 80 degrees. The coldest in 1993, when we barely got above freezing. The rainiest, about an inch and a half, just two years ago, in fact. And then the snowiest back in 1993, when a little bit more than five inches of snow fell. Certainly a scary picture uh, on those fronts there. Uh, speaking of statistics, we are getting ready to wrap up the fourth wettest October on record. Of course, nothing in the rain gauge today, but certainly this month will be going down in the record books. Plenty of rain to speak of, and there is more falling right now. We see that falling outside our Briarfield Healthcare Center's weather uh, camera, and now's just a raw, damp, uh, gloomy looking picture out there with those temperatures uh, holding uh, for the most part in the mid 50s, generally across our five county viewing area 54, 55, 56. Kind of what you see is what you get there. All right, let's take a live look at storm tracker radar. Some scattering of showers moving across parts of Trumbull County. You see that's where the rain was just falling there in Niles. Some more scattered showers straddling uh, I-80 and I-79 in Mercer County, moving off to the east into Pennsylvania. That is all the doing of a couple of areas of low pressure and uh, a weak upper level disturbance that is working its way through. So as we carry on through the rest of our Saturday evening, periods of those scattered showers once again, looking for those to decrease in coverage just a little bit over overnight tonight, but we will still see that general risk for a shower at just about any time. Uh, temperatures overnight going to level off in the upper 40s. All right, let's carry you through your Sunday morning and we may carry that risk of a shower here or there right on through about midday. Now, I think the moisture on this model is a little bit overdone. I think we are in line for some clearing some peaks of sun by the end of the day on Sunday, but we will have to watch because we do have an upper level trough that is sitting uh, just off to our north that could uh, serve to touch off another shower before the day is over tomorrow. Highs will be in the upper 50s. All right, carrying on now into Tuesday, our next chance for rain with an upper level disturbance moving through. Still a small risk for a shower. That upper level low will be off to our north and again close enough to us that that may trigger a shower or two, but most places on Tuesday and Wednesday will stay dry. Of course, uh, the next thing that kind of grabs your attention on the seven day forecast highs back in the 40s below the average in Corey. No rain chances next weekend for now, but there are some uh, model disagreements as to the presence of a system that may bring us some mixed precipitation next weekend. Stay tuned. Of course, the Storm Tracker 21 app will be fine tuning those details as next weekend draws near. Oh, sad to say winter's officially on its way. It's coming. Yep.